Uh, all right, so basically, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is just go over just three examples for you just to help out um, so you guys can kind of see what we're going to be doing for this. And this is basically the examples that you guys are going to have um, again today, or at least you guys can expect on a test. So the main important thing, guys, again, is I kind of work through this step by step by step, OK? So the main important thing that I like to cover is, again, identi first thing is identifying the LCD. Now, in this um, case here, we look at and we say, all right, Basically, if you were to like multiply all this, what would kind of be like redundant? And we can take those out, all right? We notice here, if I was going to multiply everything, I would have a 9x times x minus 5, right? Does everybody agree with me? But is really 9 the smallest number that both 3 and 3 divide into? Yeah. 3. 3 is actually could be 3, though, right? So we can actually reduce this down to 3, OK? So when you're identifying the least common denominator, they don't both share an x. They don't both don't share the expression x minus 5, but they do share 3. So this is going to be my least common denominator. Does that kind of make sense? If you guys did 9, you used a common denominator. You can still do that. It's just not simplified. So you'd have to simplify it at the end. All right? You, what? You want me to explain? Do you see how this is? They this has an x minus 5. This does not have an x minus 5. So for them to be common, they both have to have an x minus 5. Right? This has an x. This does not have an x by itself that's not in an expression. See, the x here is in that expression. This x is not an expression. We don't have an x not in an expression, so we need to include it. They both share a 3, so that's common. OK? <coughs> Excuse me. So therefore, to get this fraction or this denominator to be um, our LCD, I need to multiply it by x minus 5. To multiply this to be our LCD, I need to multiply it by x over x. <clears throat> so now, basically, I'll multiply them, and I get 11x over 3x times x minus 5 minus x plus 1 times x minus 5 all over 3x times x minus 5. Okay, Now, um, now we can go ahead and, now obviously we can distribute this. Or if we were going to go ahead and distribute this, we could see that our final answer would be basically 11 minus x plus 1 times x minus 5, or 11x, divided by 3 times x times x minus 5, where we know that x cannot equal 0 and x cannot equal 5. However, ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you that when you have something that's multiplication and you have subtraction, they're probably going to want to have a simplified answer here. So I'm actually going to do that over here. Please note, though, you cannot divide out the x minus 5s. Does anybody know why we cannot divide the x minus 5s? Yes? It is. But there's one more thing that's actually even more important than the multiplication. Because the multi you, can, you can divide across multiplication, but you cannot divide across Subtraction. Whenever you have two expressions, when you have two expressions that are being divided by the same term, you can't just divide two terms. You just can't divide it into one. You have to divide it into both. So we cannot divide out using um, across addition and subtraction. So let me just go ahead and simplify this here real quick. So I have 11x minus, let's see, x squared minus 5x plus 1x minus 5. 11x minus x squared plus 5x minus x plus 5. If you guys see what I did was I distributed the negative 1 as I combined them. So I get 11x minus x squared plus 4x plus 5. Final answer is negative x squared plus 15x plus 5 on a, on a test. On a test, more than likely, ladies and gentlemen, that is what you're going to see is an answer like this. However, this is, there's nothing wrong with this. It's probably just not simplified the way that we'd like it. So we'd multiply it out. But the, again, the reason why I keep that, or you could obviously distribute this to give you 3x squared minus 15x. Um, but I keep that so I know what my constraints are. Yes? I have not decided, and I do not think so. 